Hey Night King here. So we finally get to play the Sky Carrier Battle, which is like the last one we played probably two years ago, I think, and nearly three years ago actually. And we just got different item this time. I mean different aircraft. No more Sash One and no more uh, F thirty five Lightning. Now everyone get to be using the newest Strike Fighter, which is the Strike Switch. So like developer giving us opportunity to use this one like this is literally the only fair gameplay or fair mode in the game in the entire game which is really nice not, not gonna lie it's really nice so uh the tactics here to stay alive until the game end is to be very high altitude and you need to reverse at the start of the game when like when you're reversing that's mean your ship will be very far away from your enemies when your ship is very far away from enemies they can't really catch you and they are too lazy to catch you because they will aim uh, for the enemies that uh, closer to them right they are one strike fighter already done i mean like uh, if you can see none of the aircraft is fully upgraded which is like pretty slow and not really uh have much durability and bro stop stop messaging me i'm trying to record the video also our factor also not uh, like really fully upgrade so yeah that's not a good thing for me like it oh damn see like it's better if we play with full upgrade item and yo can you not messaging me again game will focus on and as you can see like my altitude is very very high that's mean even the longbow shot hard to aim for me if when you like playing really really hard it is easier for you to see enemies and it's easier for you to aim for the enemies and enemies like very hard to aim for you and they're very lazy to catch you because you are very high and very very far away as you can see here like if enemy is so far away there's no way i can hit them unless i'm using the black and red missile first uh and the change you can see here that we can actually capture the point using our strike fighter which is very very op and i don't know why they're playing so close with the point they don't need to play close with the point anymore like using this tactic confirm death like 100 you will dead 100 you will dead everyone will aim for you if you're playing on the uh middle point and then look at your ship you're playing so close that everyone will aim for you for sure as you can see, my ship is very very far away. Nobody is hitting me even once. No one is hitting me because I'm so far away. So like basically when you're doing this, like you can't die. You're basically invisible. So right side and middle. I need to capture A point. B point already down. I believe my teammate will capture the B point soon. Two of my teammates on C no one on b one other i don't know where now my teammate one destroyed only me and other one from c point i mean other two is capturing the c point and protecting the c point i need to get the b point i don't know where is the okay so one enemy on a you can see why i'm playing high altitude with this one It is easy for me to kill this one actually I mean like there is no obstacle for me even though uh, when you're playing low like this you can hide from this mountain but the best side is sometimes your aircraft will actually hit the mountain and just destroy it like that okay let's go now waiting for the uh, longbow shot I need to reload this first there's no way I'm surviving Come on now, one, two, three, go. Ninety-three thousand, nice. I need to destroy the aircraft at least. That's all I can do at the moment. Enemy is about to destroy my nuclear miss. That's fine. Longbow shot. He's not aiming at me. I don't know why. Yep. Enemies destroyed. Uh, I like literally. <laughs> no one is hitting me. I'm not being hit even once like literally okay so as you can see I'm start getting closer to point 
when enemies like only two left or one left so they're not really attacking me and the best part is i will just stay alive until the game ends and the best player should be staying alive not just sacrificing yourself for a point both of the team nearly defeated because of we are losing point at the moment that's fine i believe we can win this one i need to capture this i don't know what am i doing 10 seconds to capture point nice now now uh, we have all of the point in our hands one two three yellow and black waiting for red missiles nice okay come on now you only have 12 points don't lose okay so we basically win we basically win and they never touch me even a single hit i have 1.6 million damage that is a good thing and we survive until the end let's go 739 points we receive that's a good thing though that is a good thing so and obviously we will playing two match like usually right because winning one match doesn't mean anything so we need to win at least two matches in the same time i mean two matches in a row not in the same time that's my bad please play this map i really like this map you see like the neptune right there that's crazy come on now anytime please anytime any second entering online let's go okay so we will be using the same tactics now and see if it is actually works this time we need to gain some altitude first we we are really close to a point but i will probably just let my teammate catch it uh i will reversing now stay away from any points i don't know like uh my teammates and enemies teammates like you know how far they are actually probably like 15 kilometers away and this aircraft radar is so bad without upgrading i wonder if actually like someone playing this low it is very very hard to see them when they playing this low altitude absolutely no one i didn't see anyone oh my god they got c and b already we got a uh, four mother ship is going to the A point. That's not really a good idea for me. Come on now. I don't know if we can win this one because everyone literally taking the A points. At least we can capture points using our aircraft now. My teammate is taking B. I think it is better for me to let them having C point at the moment because they still have 5 carrier. I will just stay here and capture this point at the moment. None of the enemies are being spotted. Never mind. 18 kilometers away. That is so far. 18 kilometers away. Damn, there, there's no way I'm reaching them. So at the moment, I will not hitting them because if I'm trying to hit them at the moment, they are 12 kilometers away, which is I will actually waste my time if I'm trying to kill that uh, sky carrier. So I will just play around this point and then hitting enemies in the same time. Not a good idea. He's getting close. That is not a good idea if you're playing this mode. If and you're playing this mode, you want to stay as far away as you can because we can actually catch your point using our aircraft so like there's no reason for you to uh, getting closer to the point right okay one uh one sky carrier down i'm too far away two enemies has been spotted that's mean i will just 
trying to get closer to sea while not really get closer to enemies if you know what I mean so I just need to avoid enemy to capturing me I mean like if I'm playing too far away why they want to kill me when they can kill my friends first so I'm pretty much sacrificing them so I can stay alive it's not really selfish because when I'm staying alive we're gonna win there's no way we're losing when I'm staying alive nice one I, uh, oh my god <laughs> I can't I can't really see that I can't really see that it's too far away I actually yeah I hit the radar okay let's go uh, opening on the seaside probably not I don't, I don't know how many are they on sea probably one probably two because we only can see one enemies at the moment full combo I will just save my yellow missile for uh, anti-aircraft support I don't know I don't know why I'm getting too close to this ship now at least my friends also helping me to distract enemy A eh? nice one nice one only two left we have three and we have more points than the enemies one right there come on nuclear and small missiles okay we can't use small missiles at the moment he is too far away from me capturing b point thank you my team actually never mind you're not capturing it for me i need to reload my strike fighter first strike fighter reload really on this one controlling my strike fighter to kill this one enemy only have 20 points left so we basically win this game and yet again i'm not even being touched on they never touched me even once this is the benefit of this tactic which is basically you can't die when you're playing like this you can't die because i know what enemies gonna do because i'm human they're also human it's like psychology i don't know how to say it like i don't i don't know but it's like i know what i did thinking right now yep we basically win there we go no one ever touched me in this battle yep legendary players deserve a light here we go 1 million damage 1.07 million damage so thank you for watching and that's how i'm winning this match every single time i i never lost this this mode at the moment like every time playing sky carrier i basically never lost yeah I'm, I'm just i'm just that guy i'm just the main character <laughs> okay that, that's i'm just kidding though see you later see ya